Alright, here we go. Match one. And we're building. And we're mining. Alright, Tormator trying to approach first with the, I think it's a silver pickaxe? Here comes Fruit Smasher. Oh, that was a nice little sequence there. Oh, there's a couple of jabs moving along. Here comes the upper sequence up here to up smash. Uh, up smash. I need to find out what the frame data is, but the fact that it scoops is ridiculous. Here comes the TNT. Oh! Nice by Fruit Smasher to lay the, um, the trigger in his direction in order for uh, the Corbinator to wind up stepping on it. Oh, nice by, by Corbin avoiding the um, the trigger right there. Nice couple up airs. The, the throw is supposed to kind of be like Isabel's rod, um, fishing rod, but like, I can't quite understand what you're supposed to like actually pull in. Oh, is that an F smash? I think it was F smash from Fruit Smasher, but Corbin's still alive. Nice, so the blocks can kind of wall off high recoveries, but I don't think it'll beat out Snap to Ledge in cases like that. Theoretically, are you allowed to play Frank Sinatra? Uh, I'm just playing right now the, the seven that are in the game, just for thematic purposes, but... Oh, so what Corbin's trying to do. Nice wall building by Smasher, avoiding being chased up and that juddle continuing. Good dash attack from Corbin. going to try to set up a wall here. Oh, I think it was trying to maybe use the minecart to gimp Fruit Smasher. There we go. We're now our even stock game, I think. Ah, look at that. <laughs> the teabag taunt. Another dash attack there. <laughs> They're just playing game. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. All right, Bacontis has moved on, defeating Chag 2-0, and Soup defeated LAW 2-0. So, um, see, those will be getting started very soon. Some mine in there from Fruit Smasher. Ooh, Corbin sent out the bomb tramp. Was Fruit Smasher going to get hit by it? I imagine it was his own bomb. Corbin though, set off that one. Here's a forward throw from Fruit Smasher. Nope. Some metal... I think it's the silver swords they both got right now. There we go. A little pickaxe action from Corbin. Can give him some space. Fruit Smasher dropping the iron and getting a way to craft some more. Now he's got the gold weaponry. Corbin taking the opportunity to mine some more. Alright. Smasher building a wall for himself. But Corbin, oh, tries to just run a nest smash, but the wall actually served its purpose to basically stall Corbin's approach. Oof. Pickaxe fair. Came down heavy, especially with the diamond. Uh, great weapon. Oh, the just turn around F smash. And Corbin has now evened things up. Can F smasher just try and close things out? There's Corbin to be able to bring this back. Oh, the down air. Corbin just gently coming down. Oh, trying to land hard with the down air as well. Move the explosive so that he actually wouldn't be able to like just step on the trigger himself. Fruit carts his way right, right into Fruit Smasher's lap. Corbin trying to anticipate his approach with an F-Smash. Doesn't quite get it. Okay. <laughs> Turn around with a wooden sword. Still effective. It's a smash attack, folks. Corbin uses the mine cart to recover. Does not set more of a trap with the explosive. Instead, Fruit Smasher's trying to do a little bit more creative stuff with leaving the trail and the cart. Oh, not quite. Not from center stage. That was a funny kill screen, though. Looking for the F smash explosion, Corbin. Just charging through. Here's the cart. Scott, first smasher off stage. Is first smasher gonna be able to survive? Yes. Cleans the stage. Corbin didn't try to go for an edge guard. That might be his undoing here in game one between these two. Oh, he blew himself up trying to get the double kill, and Fruit Smasher wisely dodged away. With that, Fruit Smasher takes game one. <laughs> I'm just gonna blow us both up and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the Corbinators, uh.
Cool. And we're on to game two. So now there's game two. Um, just use chat to issue the bands. All right, there's no bands. <laughs> man reacting with the fro oh nos and chat after that S smash on the explosives. I will say though, props to Decorbinator for picking zombie, which is my Steve skin, because I feel like a zombie. So, all right, we mine it, we mine it, we mine it, we craft it. He's got the silver story charges. Ooh, first hit for Corbin. Is Fruit Smash Dragon gimped right there? Not quite. I want to see, like, you know, like, maybe Corbin doesn't know, but you can actually, like, step off the, the plat and drop TNT. Like, like it's, it's an explosive, like a bomb. So, could have done that to try and get the gimp kill there, but didn't quite. Ooh, broke the sword. Did have to mine some more. He didn't craft. <laughs> Corbin taking a break real briefly there to do so. Smasher, getting a lot of mining. Gonna set the explosive up and a wall. Here we go. Oh no! Hoisted by his own guitar! He gets blown up by his own explosives! That's funny. But here comes Smasher again with the F throw. Catches Corbin with an aggressive landing with up smash. Corbin's got the best um, or highest quality material weapon right now with the emerald, but. It's only useful against Fox or Falco. You just block him. Got it. Oh yeah, because the block just, just gimps. Because it's a no hitbox cover. Oh! Corbin trying to go for the up smash, but Fruit Smasher wisely dropped an explosive right there on the lava block. Ooh, and what has really really cool things about down smash is that it can come out both on really obvious landings to protect yourself and make your opponent think twice about approaching you in general, as well as really awkward spacing where you're just barely above your opponent, but you have enough frame time to just drop it. And there's that anvil, then you can also mine it if you miss. So. I also appreciate both players returning to the Minecraft world stage. With hazards off, I think we're locked to the one particular weather pattern. Corbin is trying to see what Smash will want to do. Maybe try to do a step back F Smash. Not quite. There comes a dash attack from Corbin. They're trying to come off stage. Oh, try to use the lava, which actually would be pretty good for um, an edge guard there, but Smasher managed to avoid it. Now has the Emerald weapon herself. Herself. Ooh, looking for it. Nice turn around S-Smash from Corbin catching the whiff. He's even things up at two stocks apiece. It's like Manzana has moved on, defeating Lucky 8 or 8K. So it's gonna be waiting losers. Meanwhile, he'll be moving on to face C sharp in round two. Ooh, nice F S Smash or F till I forget which it is for Minecraft Steve. Corbin manages to recover. Oh, dropped. Gets dropped the um, explosive right in his path, but manages to avoid being tempted to hit it. Nice throw from Fruit Smasher. Gonna try and get the. Oh, try to get the up smash kill. Look at like the angle where the hitbox is for F smash. Just while sitting on a an anvil, you can hit below yourself. That's crazy. Ooh, yeah, up smash hits. Smasher crafts a little bit, gets a silver weapon, but Corbin comes in with a cart. It's like a steel chair in a pro wrestling match. With the cart. Oh, it gets blown up right there. Corbin trying to recover and keep this close. Trying to keep a um, hold, a firm, firm grip, grip on this uh, lead right now. Nice use of the glide to get past Fruit Smasher's attempt at catching him. Oh, the down, downer actually got through the up smash there, but Fruit Smasher does it, <laughs> does it himself. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe at like low. Um, Opponent percentage, you can pretty much act right out of getting hit by one of those initial jab hits. Some mining, some mining fruit smasher, allowed to recover again for free. Ooh, Carbonator trying to catch the high recovery. Does interrupt the smasher in the mid midst of trying to do the uh, mining and almost trades no. Oh! There we go! We're tied 1 1. See, it's funny that they gave the zombie pork to eat when we all know that the zombie would be eating other Minecraft people. Unless that's not part of the lore, in which case y'all can tell me, because I don't know anything about Minecraft. <laughs> Soup is taking a game off Ice on Deck already in their round two slash winner's quarterfinals match. No, no, it's just a zombie skin. It's not a real zombie. Oh, that's unfortunate. It should be a real zombie. <laughs> it should want to eat the other Minecraft people. Alright, 
the oh, what's up? Okay, we're on it back on the same stage. <laughs> Here we go, game three. Well, what I kind of see more from Corbin is trying to be a bit more aggressive with the edge guarding and not letting Fruit Smasher recover for free all the time. Look, see, Fruit Smasher keeps get, catching the high recoveries with back air, which is good, putting him on 38. Hey, Fernando, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Fro Fam. We're currently in the midst of our all Minecraft Steve bracket, highlighting the new character Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like, uh, big thanks to all competitors for wanting to play this really strange character on day two. Because, I mean, what the hell is this character? Oh! And again, the inexperience at gliding shows itself as Corbinator gets gimped. Who's in stock here in this pivotal game three? Nice use of the cart, cart to fair there from Fruit Smasher. Trying to keep Corbinator here just stuck at ledge. Part of the strategy also is denying your opponent, Steve, resources that might only exist on the other side of the stage. So you have to remember that um, what resources you're able to mine are completely dependent on what the game has programmed into the floor. Oh! Or the other surfaces. Wow, the double cart there uh, winds up with Fruit Smasher getting blown up. <laughs> Corbinator's like, I'm gonna hit you! And Fruit Smasher's like, nah, I'm not gonna let you do that. Dropping a bomb. Ooh. Oh, I guess hitting the bomb can actually knock out the, like, the, 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 it's the explosive trail thing get it set up. That's cool. It's a, it's a, you know, a relatively equalizing kind of thing. Unless your opponent just builds it really quickly and then steps on it, but again, that's the, that's the counterplay. That's the strategy. Counter, counterplay. Alright, Fruit Smasher trying to just build above the Corbin. Trying to close this one out as Corbin tries to figure out how to make this comeback happen. Oh, nice use of the building mechanic to just build your way back to stage like a bridge. Oh! Manages to shield through the, um, uh, Minecart command grab, which I thought catches you in shield. It must be at a certain point. We have to have like enough material in the cart in order to be caught by it. It's one of those things I guess you just have to pay attention to if you're playing the game. Oh! Fruit Smasher has the most powerful weapon currently and is just mining it up a storm while the Corbinator, I guess, is trying to figure out what to do on the other side of the stage. Alright! And we're mining! And we're mining! And we're mining! And uh, there they charge! Oh, the down air! <laughs> Fruit Smash was like, oh, you want to be aggressive, huh? Well, here's an anvil. Oh, and they both fall up! But Fruit Smash is the one that gets hit! So far, I've seen more explosions being triggered by the person that set them off and getting hit by it than the people, other person, their opponent, the target, being hit. Oh, nice throw here by Fruit Smasher. Oh, nice. Corbin just comes rearing in there with the cart. Smasher wasn't ready for it. Fruit Smasher? Ooh, try to start crafting something, but got intercepted by the Corbinator. Corbinator takes a ride in the opposite direction, probably where he wants to go. Looking for this kill. Oh, F Smash? That's gonna do it. Fruit Smasher is taking the first match here in our all Steve, all Minecraft Steve only bracket. Moving on. 